And starting right off the top with breaking news here at 11 o'clock. Another local man has been arrested for his alleged role in the Capitol riots. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 10 News at 11. I'm John Carlin. And I'm Brittany McGraw. Federal investigators made the arrest today in the Elliston area of Montgomery County. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer explains how online tips and pictures at the Capitol helped them track him down. This is Jeremy Grossclose, the third known person from our area to be charged in connection to the riot at the U.S. Capitol. The FBI raided his home off Break Road and Route 416 Elliston Thursday afternoon, where he was arrested on four federal charges. Those include obstruction of law enforcement, obstruction of Congress, knowingly entering a restricted building, and violent entry on Capitol grounds. He went before a judge in Roanoke's federal court shortly after his arrest and was released on $20,000 bond. Gross Close is one of the few hundreds investigators have pinned for their alleged involvement in the insurrection. In federal court filings, investigators say he came on the radar after two people submitted tips to the online tip portal. They said he had, quote, several social media posts about being at the Capitol and taking part in the riot. He posted a picture of blood and said he was present when the female was shot but took it down. Investigators then compared these known photos of Gross Close with other pictures and security footage the day of the riot. They believe this to be him wearing a distinct red and black jacket. The FBI says they found Gross Close and his distinct outfit in at least 18 different video clips from inside the Capitol building. That includes this security footage of a group of what they say is intruders trying to prevent a security gate into a restricted area from closing. They say Gross Close and others used their hands to lift the door as it was trying to go down. They made it inside and police say Gross Close joined others, throwing objects at Capitol Police officers and was in the Capitol for more than two hours. In its closing details, the FBI shared that it tracked Gross Close's phone after the fact and it put the device inside the Capitol during the riot. While out on bail, Gross Close is forbidden from any protests, being in D.C. or having guns. His case will be transferred to D.C. federal court to be tried with the others. Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. And we did talk with Gross Close a short time ago by phone. He had no comment on his pending case other than God bless America.